Opto Info back with another leaky video. Today is another episode in microsurgery pitfalls. Uh, today's quiz is why do you have suture breaks at the second instrument when tying with 10 nylon? You'll notice that when suturing in, uh, with 10 nylon, which is very fragile, you oftentimes have breaks. It, there's a pattern to the breaks. They break at the instrument or they break at the knot. Why do we have breaks at the second instrument? And can we do anything to reduce the frequency of those breaks? The clue, if you don't already know the answer, the clue is think about the way we grasp uh, the suture to bury a knot, to bury the knot into the cornea, for example. We grasp the suture in a certain way so as to not break it in doing that maneuver. This is the same uh, concept or technique can be applied to cinching the knot down in the first place. Let's check it out in the OR. So the answer is pretty simple. The edge of the jaw of the forcep is a 90 degree turn and it's essentially a dull blade, okay? So if you rub this fragile suture over this dull blade, it's gonna cut it. So here we are, cinching down this knot here, but instead of draping this suture over the dull blade, that is the edge, the 90 degree edge of my forcep here, I wanna turn it 90 degrees, okay? So in this way, as I'm cinching it down, let me choke up so you can see it, as I'm cinching it down, it's shooting straight out of the jaws, straight up and down out of the jaws, not being sub subjected to this relatively dull blade here that is the 90 degree edge of the forcep. This concept is also something you need to be aware of with uh, when you're tying with forceps that have teeth on them, okay? If you, let's pretend this forcep has teeth on it, if I was to cinch it down like this, I'm again draping it over the dull blade that it, in this case is the teeth, the 0.12s for example, okay? And another scenario where you'll see this is when you're cutting your own suture. Let's say you're cutting your own suture with the needle because you don't want to be, you don't have an assistant, you don't want to take forever passing the instruments back and forth. You rub the, in this case, it's not a dull blade, it's a sharp blade. The tip of this knee, this uh, tin of suture needle is sharp, and you r rub it against the edge, boop, pops, all right? So, and you'll notice next time you bury a suture, bury a knot rather, when you grab it, you, you grab it and try not to subject it to the, uh, to the edge of the forcep. You, you hold it, you get in line with it, and you hold it so that it's, it's um, sort of parallel with the flat uh, needle dock there as you sort of rotate it in, because it's already tight and you don't want to break that suture because you have to do it all over again. All right, hope you learned something. Catch you next time, peace.